welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, we got crazy hair going on here because I am well due for wash day. So today I'm very, very excited to be digging into some brand new black owned hair products. Not necessarily brand new, but definitely new to me. So I'm very, very excited to try them out. We're gonna get into it, all of the deets. And then I also think I'm gonna make this like a two day video so that way you'll see day one and then you'll also see day two because I feel like day two is where you really know for sure, for sure, whether or not that was like bomb.com. I might like going forward, I might just do that for my wash and go videos in general just because sometimes you can get scammed on day one, for real. So yeah, I think that's what we're probably gonna do today. Make sure you comment below once you've watched the entire video, let me know if you like that because then we can definitely going forward make sure that every wash and go video is two days so that we know, we know, we know what we know. But yeah, we've got about day six or day seven here. Y'all know I don't normally wait that long, but it's just what happened this week. It just is what it is. So I'm very, very excited to deal with this mess and dig into these products. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna meet you guys in the shower. All right, let's get this party started. So the first product that I'm gonna use is shampoo to cleanse my hair. This is a shampoo by Holy Curls, which is a black owned brand. I think they're based, as far as I know, in the UK. And so about Holy curls first of all I absolutely love the name I think that is absolutely like so stinking cute but they also do plant-based products so on the bottle it says yes to 100% vegan natural oils natural extracts pure essential oils and a plant-derived formula and then it says no to sulfates parabens silicones artificial fragrances and animal testing so I love that straight off the bat I was really really excited to give this a chance if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen me unbox this all right first First things first, let's actually check out the smell. Ooh, that smells really nice. It smells kind of citrusy. I'm getting like a light citrusy lemony kind of scent, which I'm liking. It doesn't smell artificial or anything like that. It just smells like a natural citrusy kind of scent. So the thing that I look for in a shampoo is something that's gonna be kind of creamy but still has like a really good lather, something that offers a really deep cleanse but also doesn't leave my hair feeling like overly stripped, you know what I mean? So because it doesn't have sulfates, I really do have high hopes. Wow, so far, this is like super, super creamy. Can you guys see the creaminess happening here? It feels like Fairly lightweight, so let's go ahead and just, ooh, and we got a good lather. I can feel the lather coming through already. Wow, 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 so far, this is feeling good. Ooh, I feel like a little bit was able to go a long way as well. Yeah, I can already tell. This is about to be a really, really good cleanse, but is it going to strip my hair or is it gonna feel like it strips my hair? I don't think it's actually gonna like, chemically strip my hair because it's obviously sulfate free so I'm not like worried about that I'm just wanting my curls to feel nice and moisturized you know I don't want them to feel too like you know like dehydrated or something after this you know what I mean I think we're good to go let's go ahead and rinse this out my hair feels a little dehydrated like I said it is sulfate free so I'm not like I'm not worried about like the state of my hair but I will say that that extra cleansing shampoo feeling that nobody likes to feel like I'm dying to put in a moisture mask in my hair right now just because it just feels so like man like super extra clean. I do have other shampoos like for example my Brio Geo Super Moisture Shampoo still offers a really deep cleanse, gives amazing lather but does not leave my hair kind of feeling like this. So that's kind of really the shampoo that I'm comparing it with because that's my current favorite, also black owned just by the way. But yeah, this didn't this didn't give me as much moisture as I would love in a shampoo. So yeah, I'm actually about ready to dig in to some moisture for my hair. So the next brand we are going to be trying out is Boucle Me. I don't even know 100% how to say this brand name. I know I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry. But yeah, so this is an intensive moisture treatment, which is exactly what my hair needs right about now. All right, so I've sectioned out my hair. Let's get into this texture. So it's actually not super thick, you see? Like it's it's still a little bit runny in a way, so I'm hoping this is still gonna be able to offer like the intense moisture that I'm really looking for. Once it combs through my curls though, this is feeling really nice and silky. 
Oh, and by the way, Boucle May, or however you say it, is also another plant-based brand for curly hair. So yeah, double the plant base today for our wash products. Ooh, I got the knots coming, ugh. One thing that's super important to me for a deep conditioner or any kind of treatment, mask, whatever, is that it has like a decent level of slip. And I feel like this one, has a decent level. I couldn't use more, maybe a little bit, but the slip is definitely there for sure. Like I can feel it. So if I had to say out of 10, 10 being like the most slip ever, I feel like I would rate the slip on this to be, I would say about seven. This is nice. Let me give you all a little close up. You see that? Like the definition is happening already. So once the knots are gone, it feels Oh, did we even talk about the scent? Did we talk about the scent? So the scent is, it smells a little bit like, almost like baby powder. It is like a lightweight kind of scent, so it doesn't really smell like super, super strong, but yeah, that's what the scent reminds me of. It just smells really powdery. I'm not like a super huge fan of it. It's not like it's gonna turn me off from using the product, because it's like a powder fresh kind of scent. You know those powder deodorants that just smell powdery fresh, that's kind of what this smells like. So I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's just I'm kind of indifferent to it, I guess. Similar to shampoo, I'm not gonna be able to tell like how bomb this is in my curls until I actually like wash it out, you know? So I am gonna have to give it a little time, but so far, I would say definitely so far so good. So yeah, just pop this on, and that's basically it for the shower. All right, so I have my thermal hair care hot head on. This adds heat to your deep conditioner. 10 out of 10 recommend. This is like next level. It's great, it's no fuss. You stick it in the microwave, heat it up, and that's it. Also black owned, okay? So everything, as usual, is linked in the description box below if you wanna go ahead and check that out. But yes, I've had this on for about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's about that time to kind of take it off so we can get into styling. I'm actually really excited for styling because there is a new black owned gel. This is not my first time using it, but mm, let me tell you, it is amazing. So this is actually, this, this is gonna be my second time using it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what the deal is. I, I loved it so much that I said I had to tell y'all here on YouTube about it as well. Ooh, okay, so my hair right now, wow. It just feels really nice and juicy. Do y'all see the juice happening right here? We got curl definition and it doesn't feel like it's weighing down my curls or anything. Like I showed you guys, the consistency was pretty lightweight. So I think my hair seems to like this, but like I was saying, the real test is gonna be when we fully wash it out. I'm liking it so far. I know, I mean, my hair has bounce. You see the bounce? That is like a sign of like happy, moisturized curls. So I'm like, I'm pretty happy so far, okay. I gotta back up so y'all can see the whole thing like. My hair shrinks up to here when it's dry. But look at how long! This is like the middle of my boob! Oh, I feel like I do this every wash and go video, but it's very exciting. This is when I really get to see my hair. <laughs> Let's do this. My hair does still feel really good after washing that out, so I don't know, I think I'll give it a pass, but we still gotta wait to see how my hair turns out. So first major key when you are styling outside of the shower is a spray bottle. I literally kill each section with my spray bottle and this is basically how I ensure that my hair is like super wet while I'm styling it. Y'all already know what the deal is. Wetter is better over here. I just get better results, I find, personally when I style on super soaking wet hair. My hair just locks in moisture better that way, which means I end up with like just happier curls that are more defined and just, it just works. It's just what's best for me. So. Yes, love my spray bottle. And the two products we are styling with today are these two. I'm smiling because my last wash and go, actually, I used this exact combo and it's a new fave, but I wanted to see if I could recreate the same amazing bomb ass results again. So we're trying that today. So you guys already know all about this Brio Geo Coil Custard, the bomb.com. This is literally a staple in my products. I use this with almost everything. And then this gel is a brand new gel, small black owned, a small black owned brand called Bomb Ass Pro. And this is their curl defining hair jelly. Guys, you guys, I cannot, like if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what the deal is and you know why I'm so excited. But 
this is what the consistency looks like. It's just really nice and jelly and I just, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So basically what we're testing today is to see if I can get as bomb results as I did get last time. And I'll give you guys, I know you guys here on YouTube haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna give you guys some in-depth information on how it feels and all that good stuff. So, so I'm just going in with a little bit of the coil cluster first. And I really just like to comb this through my curls and just make sure each strand is like nice and coated with it. I love this coil custard because it's more than just, it's not a leave-in conditioner, it's like a coil custard. So it's creamy, it offers curl definition, but it also still offers really great moisture for my curls as well. So I just, I'm obsessed. By the way, for Brio Geo products, if you ever wanna order, you guys can use my code Alyssa at checkout for some money off. I believe it's still site-wide on their website, so. Go check it out, definitely. I mean, y'all already know. Brugio is one of my all-time favorite brands. Yeah, I'm grabbing the spray bottle again because we got to make sure that these curls are nice and wet. They just receive products so much better this way. Now, we are going into this gel. So I'm just grabbing a little bit at first. So it is like a jelly kind of gel, right? But you can see it's not... I would say in terms of like comparing it with other products that you guys might know, it's not as jelly-like as the Camille Rose Curl Maker. You guys know I love that. I use that for like in certain ways. I use it as a finisher gel because I feel like it's kind of so super, it's like intense, you know? Um, but this one is not as sticky as that one, which I kind of like, but this does definitely offer an amazing amount of hold. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see this one because I can feel it happening again already. I can feel it. These products actually work really, really well together. Coil custard and this hair jelly. Bomb.com. So the trick really here is to make sure that you're not overdoing it with the coil custard. Sometimes I can tend to do that. But I feel like when you overdo it with the coil custard, you don't really give the gel a chance to hang onto your hair. It hangs onto the custard instead. So you don't get as hard of a hold or as good as a hold as you could have. So trick is to just use just enough coil custard and then slap that gel on top and I'm telling you, perfection. All right, so here we are, fully styled and, ju and juicy. I mean, I just, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy, very excited, but we're not gonna stop here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my hair some time to air dry. I may potentially diffuse a little bit. I'll give y'all one more check-in a little bit later on so you guys can see like the day one results, but then we'll do the final check-in tomorrow, day two, you'll get final curl results, as well as my final thoughts on all the products that we use today. All right, so stay tuned, don't leave yet, okay? All right, so quick check-in for day one. This is gonna be my last check-in today just because it's kinda late in the evening and um, there's not really gonna be much other progress. I would say my hair is probably about 50% dry so we still got some ways to go but as you can see it's drying so nicely the gel is doing its thing so it's like zero frizz curl definition we got shine I'm very very happy with how it's looking so far I did notice a little additional frizz at my roots that I didn't notice the last time I used this stuff so I don't think it's due to the gel I do think maybe it's due to Potentially the shampoo. I don't know. I'll have my final thoughts tomorrow for sure, but so far it's still looking really really good So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when we are fully dry We got day two curls that we can fluff out and make it look really cute. So Yeah, good night. I'll catch you then All right, I'm back. It is now day two We are so basically 24 hours since I last filmed and this is how we're looking. So last night to sleep, all I did was my usual pineapple at night. I did use a different scrunchie, so I feel like the front of my hair is like slightly crimped, a little bit different than I'm normally used to, but these are how the curls are looking. I literally haven't done anything. I haven't refreshed, nothing. I literally just took out the clip, and this is how we are looking. So we do have a little bit of a hard cast. We are about to get into crunching it out and then having nice, big, beautiful, fluffy curls because as you can see, like we don't have a crazy amount of volume right now, but I'm not mad, you know why? Because 
These curls are popping. I like the fact that we have shine. We've got curl definition. And so now all we gotta do is break out this cast. So I literally just go through my hair like this and I just fluff it out. And the thing is with this gel, you don't have to worry about any frizzies because it did dry with such a hard cast. Like, you know, you don't have to stress too much. This is, this is actually gonna be curls that are gonna last me throughout the week. Like, do y'all see this? So the only thing we need to add now to make this hair perfect is just to add a little bit of volume. So that's exactly what I am doing. And as I fluff, you guys can see there's no flakes happening. There's no like white residue, nothing like that. My curls are literally just living their best life right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. Day two hair is always my favorite hair. Like always, always, always. Whenever I have a special event, I make sure to wash my hair the day before because I know day two it never fails me, especially with this gel. All right, so do you see it happening? Like slowly but surely we are increasing volume, but we're not increasing frizz. Do you see? Do you see? <sighs> I love that. So we love a good hard cast when it can crunch out with no issues. You know what I mean? And my curls, can you see how movable they are? They're bouncy. I just, this gel just gives me everything that I would ever, ever want in a gel. So specifically, let's get into my final thoughts on these stylers. So these two, mad combo, so amazing. Literally love it and guess what? I can like very confidently say that to you guys because this is actually my second time, as you guys know, using this exact combo. And I know, like I've been tricked by combos before where it's like, oh, it came out good one time, but then the next time it didn't really come out good. But here, I was able to recreate the same bomb results as you guys can see, and I'm absolutely obsessed. So specifically about this Rio Geo Coil Custard, it is like literally a staple. It works really, really well with a lot, like a wide range of other gels, other styling products, so I love it for that. And I also love the fact that it is moisturizing, but it gives you a little bit more curl definition than a regular leave-in conditioner would. So, bomb.com. Y'all already know how I feel about Rio Geo though. You already know, okay? And now this gel. It's been a while since I've been like, wildly impressed by a gel and this this is it honey okay i think they might be currently out of stock just because people have been going crazy and i 110 percent understand why i just feel like it's perfect this is everything this honestly gives me everything that i would ever really want in a gel and i just i'm living to be transparent they did actually send this to me as pr but will I go back and repurchase once this is finished with my own coins? 10,000% because I love it that much. Specifically, like around this time of year, we're getting on into spring and summer. This is so perfect. I like to use gels with a slightly like harder cast. I feel like in the spring, summer with the heat can sometimes really play with your curls. So I like to make sure I got a little bit of extra hold and this is this is really gonna give me exactly what I need. So let's also chat about our wash day products. First, Holy Curls, their shampoo. I will say that this is not gonna be a shampoo that I reach for on a consistent basis because I feel like it, it kinda, it, it, it was like a really deep cleanse and it didn't offer as much moisture as I typically like in a shampoo that I'm gonna grab more often. So this is going to be that shampoo where I feel like, whenever I feel like I need like an extra deep cleanse, did I go a full week of working out and it didn't wash my hair at all, or did I use too much products or silicone heavy products in my last um, wash and go, so I need something to like give me that extra deep clean, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm gonna reach for when I want an extra, extra deep clean, which is not as often, like I will say probably monthly, you know, like on a monthly basis, I reach for the extra deep cleanse. What I do like about it is how it's formulated. I'm so here for all of these companies that are now coming out and producing curly hair products that are clean, like products that you can actually trust and feel really, really good about using on a consistent basis. So I really think that's dope, I love that. They did also send me their conditioner, their curl cream, as well as their gels. So I did enjoy this product enough to be like still interested in trying their other products as well. So yeah, do I hate it? Absolutely not. Do I love it? I don't think it's there for me either. So I think this one was kind of like, it's great, but not really gonna reach for it as often, basically. 
And then last but not least, we gotta chat about this intensive moisture treatment. So first of all, I gotta say I really love the Boucle Me. <laughs> the brand, I struggle with the name, but I love the brand itself. I think the packaging of their products is amazing. They also did send me the rest of their line, conditioner, shampoo, all that good stuff. So I will be testing out the rest of the line as well. But as for this moisture treatment, I feel like I didn't get as much moisture out of it as I really really wanted to. I feel like it was juicy in my curls. I feel like it was nice and it was moisturizing but I just didn't get as much moisture as I wanted to. But you can see my curls are very very moisturized and I have to say like my curls are happy and honestly stylers are not going to be like the only thing that makes your wash and go come out good. If my hair really didn't like this and really also didn't like the shampoo, it would show up in my wash and go, right? But I feel like my curls are happy, they look balanced and everything, so I think I got what I needed, but are there more moisturizing masks out there? Yes. I would say so. But again, same as Holy Curls, I'm still very, very intrigued and very interested in trying the rest of their products, which I do have. So you guys can stay tuned for my thoughts on that, either on here or on Instagram again as well. So yeah, it looks like the plant-based brands, I'm kind of just like, mm, not fully 100% sold on how effective they are for my specific curls. But yeah, am I giving up on plant-based? Absolutely not. I would love to love it. I would love to love the plant-based products for my hair. So I'm gonna keep experimenting and I'll keep you guys updated as always, you know. But bottom line, in general, how this entire wash and go went, I am beyond happy, 100% black owned. So you know, I'm loving that too. We stand for that. So yeah guys, that is it. I had a lot of fun doing this with you. I can't wait to get into some more wash and go experiments because girl, there are so many brand new products launching this year. I don't know if maybe they were meant to launch last year and now they're launching this year because of everything that happened last year. So everybody's launching everything like right now. It just feels like there's new products coming out left, right, and center. So stay tuned. There will be many more experiments to come. I hope you guys enjoy them. Let me know in the comments if you do and I will actually keep them coming if you find them boring also let me know like let me know because i want to make sure that i am providing content that you guys genuinely love but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling now thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next video before you leave don't forget to subscribe if you are new okay if you're new and you made it to the end i love you i got a special place of love for you in this heart okay just make sure you subscribe so that way you don't have to miss a new video ever again we can't have that happening okay Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.